so hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i am going to show you how you can create your own procedurally animated bird in guru so right now you can see i have got a very simple procedural animated bird here and if i want i can increase the flapping speed of the bulb bird and i can also uh, make the wings more uh, stay and more flap and more longer as the bird wants to move more so the movements in this uh, demo is a lot more natural because i am using some basic mathematics here and you will uh, be definitely curious how i did that and there is one more uh, thing that i want to show you before starting and showing how you can create this so that you can get some confidence on how you can use this mechanism in real uh, game dev projects so right now you can see i have this pixel art animated bird here that i can actually change a lot of things here i can also change the flapping speed of the bird like i can decrease the speed of the bird i can make them uh, flap their wings more slower i can also if i want i can increase the uh, flapping of the uh, bird wing size and you can see those there are tons of things that you can actually customize here and there are uh, the one more fascinating thing about procedural animation is about like you can customize a lot of things here if you haven't watched my previous procedural animated fish video please do check it out it's a very good video about how you can start with procedural animation so let's get started by doing this project so what we what you are seeing here is a pretty simple example on how you can actually create a bird so right now you can see this is basically a basic math function that i am doing here and let me show you the math function and how i am using that math function and converting that into a procedural animated bird so first of all right now you can see my desmos calculator here and this is the whole equation and this equation does the basic uh, bird movement here and how you uh, how if you want to know more about these equations so i will definitely make a video on it and how you can create your own animations like this in desmos and use that in guru so right now you can see i have got this uh, equation here which is the a is the amplitude so right now you can see if uh, i want to increase more of the a here you can see the wing size is increasing so that's what a um, is here and the t is time here so as by default we don't get a time parameter in uh, desmos so i'm using my custom value from minus 10 to 10 so just to test it test out the animation here and by the way guys if you also want to make convert this uh, basic animation into something like butterflies or flocks of birds you can also do that so i am just making the uh, like the wings very small and i can just change this parameter right now you can see on the equation if i change this to five you can see the flapping of the uh, this little creature is has increased so that's how we are going to create this procedurally animated bird in guru so i have already made this project here so you can download this project and see how i did all of things in guru here so let's get started by creating a new test scene so i have already got my test scene ready here i have got a node to be here and a simple um, script here with nothing on it okay so let's get started so first of all let's create a bird here so for that i'm going to use a line 2d here so you can see this is the basic simple line 2d node here so we need a couple of things we need two line 2ds what we need uh, is a camera so we can see in the middle of the birds here now what we need to do is we need to go on to the first line to denote and we need to rename it as body and in the second line to denote what we need to do is we need to rename it as wings and we are going to change these wings uh, here in this uh, project here so let's create the body first so in order to create the body what you need to do is you need to enable this grid and we can just 
create a pretty good body here you can see we got our simple line shape here and i want to add one more point here and let's go to width here and i want to make it like 10 and i want to increase this a little bit and what you need to do is you need to create a width curve here and let's create a simple width curve with simple um, bird shaped width curve here and you can adjust these values according to your needs so that's we got the simple bird body here and if you want to change the color here you can change the bird color here you can make it any color you want and there is one more thing that we need to do is we need to go into the capping and we need to set this to round round and round now the body is ready of the bird now we can move to the wings here now you can see the wings are in the middle of the uh, section here but the body is on the top so we can just move the body here to this part so i want the wings to start with here so now we got the wings here you can see it and now let's create some basic wings here so for that i'm just taking two points here and make sure we get equal points here so let me extend these points here and we can just get this and now what we are going to do again the same thing we are going to make it 100 and now what we are going to do we need to go and add the width curve here and now let's add a middle point here so we can just adjust few things here now what you need to do is you need to go here and set this to round and again you need to set this to none here okay make sure you set these peggy cap mode and handicap note mode to none here and as you can see you can adjust these value i want them to be more sharper like this so we get a much better effect here after doing this what you need to do is we need to just animate the wings here so let's go to a script section here and now let's create few variables here so i'm going to create some few export variable so the first export variable that i am going to create is flapping speed so the flapping speed start with let's say 10 you can make it any you want so let's start with making a uh, one first and we are going to change it here right and the next thing we need is the amplitude here so we also need the amplitude so we can just make it let's start with one as well and now what we need to do is now what we need to do is so we need the time variable here we can just set the time to zero by default and we need some base points which we will declare it as packed vector to array and now we need wings here so in order to get the wings you can just drag and drop and we got all the wings here now what we need to do is we need to uh, in the function ready we need to set the base points to get the wings dot points dot duplicate so basically what it does is basically if you go to your wings uh, node line node 2d here and you can click on these packed vector to array so what points you have set here it will create a copy of these points and store that in the base points here so, so now what we need is in the process delta function we basically need to set the time is plus equals to delta so basically what we are doing is we are uh, setting that delta to the t variable and this is the uh, line of equation if you want to animate the body of the object but right now i don't want to animate so let me just remove it and we got the animate wings function here, declared here so let's create a animate wings function here so function animate wings in the animate wings function what we need to do we need to declare some new points that we are going to store as packed vector to array here and then we need to use the for loop and get the size of the base point so if you don't know what what, what was base point so base points are the the duplicate of the 
wings uh, points here so we are going to get the size of the base point and we are going to iterate over it and we are going to store each point in the p variable now we are going to normalize the x for the sign value because we are going to use these points as uh, points here so we are going to normalize the x here and we are going to use that so you can see we are going to get the x dot norm and we are going to get the points from this wings node and we are going to normalize them into minus one to one range basically we are clamping the whole point into minus one to one range now we are going to apply the bird equation here that you can see here and uh, that's it so we are going to apply the bird equation so we are just passing the x norm here in the values here that we have saw in our desmos equation here so now let's change this flapping speed to flapping speed now what we are going to do is we are going to append all these points into the new point array that we have created here after setting up all these things we are going to set all the wings dot wings points to the new points that we have created the array so this will basically generate uh, new points and the set the well positions of each point to the bird equation of the y offset will become the y of the each point and the x norm will become the x of the each point so every time the bird goes bird's wings goes up and down so each point position gets set by this and these are stored in a new point array and those new point array gets set in the wings points basically the node that we have created here so that's how we are going to animate the points here and as i have already told you that uh, changing this number here is going to increase the speed of the flapping and changing the range of the x we are going to change the size of the wings and that's it so that's how we create a pretty simple procedurally animated bird so now guys we have created our bird here and now what we what we want here is we just want to attach the texture on the bird that we have created so how we can attach the texture to the bird that we have created so for the body you can just remove this uh, line to denote as we don't need this line to denote here so i'm going to just use a simple basic sprite to denote here so let's get use that here and i have added this sprite to denote here and i have already the textures here so we are just going to use those textures so i am going to use this body dot uh, pixel art sprite texture here so you can just adjust it however you want and i am going to adjust it something like this and i am going to make this below the wing section here after doing this you need to go to your wing section and now what you what you want is you need to set the textures here so let's go to our fill here and you can see there is no texture here so we can just directly set the texture and by default it is selected to none you just need to set this as stretched and once you do it stretch you can see it, it behave uh, pretty different and so in order to make it work you just need to adjust few things here and you there is one more thing that you need to do is you need to set these to something like this here now if i run the scene here you can see the textures are applied to your wings and we can just uh, change few things here so that the speed we just need to increase the speed here so let's go here and change the variable so so if we uh, so you can see that the flapping speed here and the amplitude here so if you don't change these value to 5 and 50 the bird will not work because the speeds are very low as we have said earlier so i have made i have made some changes to the uh, variables here i have set the values to 50 and 5 so let's get started by running the project and you can see the variables here so if i change the variable you can see the textures are working perfectly and you can see everything works fine so thanks for watching guys if you like this video please do subscribe and yeah please hit the bell icon and
don't forget to comment the best part in the video there is one more tip that i am going to do, uh, show you which is if you go to your wing section you can see you can add multiple points and these points the bird will be able to um, change you can see now the movement looks more smooth and everything looks more fine so thanks for watching if you like this video please do subscribe